class. I hope you are having a great weekend. This is our end of our second week of the course. And I just wanted to do a video and just say that I am having fun reading your responses and all your assignments. You are doing a great job. Remember that assignments and posts are graded for grammar and spelling. So please proofread your Please proofread everything before you submit. That will help your points. Also remember that you are able to revise all assignments up until the you submit your chronicle of activities. And on the Quest 5, you are unable to revise your final paper. On your screen, I have the suggested due dates. I hope that you are using them. Uh, a good rule of thumb is to post them on your calendar and that way you are able to try to stick to them as much as possible. Do you have any questions this far in the course? Are you, are you feeling good about it? How are the research questions coming? There are some out there that haven't chose one yet. And so I wanted to put up on a screen here, there, you can go to, uh, there's a, multiple websites that you can use, but the University of, Li University of Illinois library has topics that might help you. If you need help brainstorming, please let me know. Have any of you ever used the University of Wyoming's library? Yeah. If not, I just wanted to maybe discuss that for you here. So I'm clicking on libraries under the UW's website and I come up with this page right here. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Here we go. Okay, so if you want to just start, you can go here to the databases and you can click on databases and you can pick a database. You can, if you see it, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but let me scroll over here. If it's during the weekday, you can go to the live chat area right here and discuss with the librarian your topic. If you know what subject matter you're going to be uh, searching for, you can use the databases by subject, but I like ProQuest or Academic Search Premier, which are these two databases off here to the right hand side. So let's just go to Academic Search Premier, and then you're going to have to type in your username and password, and this is the username and password that you use to get to your email, to get onto the UW class, so uh, let me do it here. And now we're up. So if you want, let's see, let's do one that, let's do a research question that another student is doing. So let's do, um, if you just use one word and you hit search, you are gonna come up with all kinds of things for autism. And the search produced 27,738 documents, which is way too many, but, you can narrow your search down and look here. It says refine results off to your left hand side. I hope you can see that. If we check that we want full text because we are searching via distance and we also are going to want scholarly peer reviewed journals. So that's narrowed it down to 11,259. Now, if you switch, we, Obviously, you're going to want current references, so we're going to go to uh, current, in my mind, is about uh, anything in the last 10 years. You can use something that's older than 10 years if there is no other source out there that has that information that you are looking to uh, reference. But let's just do for this 2005. And we've now narrowed it down to 8,219 documents. It's still we still have too many documents, and if we are able to go up here and change our search, we could. Uh, let me see. If we go up here and we type in autism and we look at treatment and we say search, we're going to narrow down our results now to 1,684. And then if we went to autism, treatment, and... Uh, let me think here. Uh, let's type in 
drugs, I guess. Let's see if that helps us any. And hit search. We're now down the 208, which is a little bit more doable. And you could narrow it down more if you specific if you knew what you were specifically looking for. But we have already narrowed it down. We've, we're looking for autism. We're looking for treatment. We're looking for drugs. And then we're also, we've limited it to full text down here and scholarly peer-reviewed journals. And we've narrowed it down to 2005 to 2015. So there's a little bit of help on the library. If you need any other help, if you want me to chat with you via online, we can have a conference. If you have any questions, you can email me. But at this point, you should have a research question. If you have been submitted a research question, please do so. You also should be finishing up Quest 1 and moving on to Quest 2. There are some that have moved on to Quest 2. Don't forget that if you are done with Quest 1, you have the required assignments done. You have the minimum points earned of 140 to submit your Chronicle of Activities because I don't know if you're ready to move on until you submit that Chronicle of Activities. And it's really short. You just go in, you answer a couple questions, and you hit Submit, and then I have to manually grade that. So thanks for sticking in there. I hope you have a great third week that starts on Monday. If you have any questions, again, please let me know.